Hey class, we're here and we're checking out our newest lab, Energy and Momentum. Once you get down to this portion, you want to click on this blue hyperlink. That'll open up the simulator that you need. Perfect. It looks like this. So I'm going to do part three for you, or question three. This is the elastic collision section. So that means I want my bumper cars to be bouncy. Now, if I wanted inelastic, I wanted them to stick, I would make the bumper cars locking. So I'm gonna put mine on bouncy because I want an elastic collision. Okay, here goes my red car mass. I can tell because it's in the red section. My red car should have a mass of 300 and a speed of plus three. So red car, mass of 300, and moving at a speed of plus three. So notice it's positive. Before it was negative, meaning it would move to the left. I wanna make sure it's positive three so it moves to the right. Okay. The blue car is 200 and moving at plus one. 200 plus one, okay. So I have both my bumper cars, a red bumper car and a blue bumper car. They're both moving to the right, but one of them is moving tremendously faster. Okay. Now the total momentum before, let me find my momentum section. Here goes my momentum. The nice part is they tell us the total before. So if you zoom in, Maybe you don't even need to. This looks like 1100 because it's times two. So it's 1100. So 11 times 10 to the second. Hopefully you guys are in algebra two. So you're okay with that. 11 times 10 to the second. So it means it's 1100. Okay. Now, if you know the law of conservation of momentum, you should know that momentum is always conserved. So you kind of have an idea of what your after is going to be like. Let's see what else I know. Let me fill in the energy information. So the kinetic energy here, this looks like 1.4 maybe when they're added together. Let me fill in that also. Total energy before 1.4. Perfect. Now I'm ready to allow them to collide. So I hit the play button. Okay, yeah, got this bumper car action going. Okay, so they collided and now I have my after information has now been filled in. So if you zoom in, you'll notice your momentum still the same. So, and the energy, which was on the right hand side, the kinetic energy is also the same. So one All right, and now you've properly done this section. Three is done for you. Do one and two, one and two, and then you'll be ready for the analysis. Go for it, you got it.